So I had a critical error. I didn't include the information about the actual property, where it's at, and what it looks like as we start releasing these um, lunch break episodes to show you what we're doing on the property. So when we make reference to things on the property, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's step back and go through where the property is, the different parts of the property so that you can follow along and make it makes a lot more sense. So the property is in central Illinois. Like I've said, it's 47.4 acres. And I'll start zooming in now. It is between Bloomington, Illinois and Peoria. Let's see, let's see if I can get it right. It is right there. It's um, on the Mackinac River, which feeds into the Illinois, Illinois River. It is, um, the north border is I-74 going east. Um, so our border is, I don't know, 20 yards off of the interstate. And then the, the um, state owns that 20 yards. There's a fence along this, um, halfway down this ridge, even through the bottom all the way to the, to the river. Um, here's a county line road. Here's my neighbor's. Uh, gate right here and my entrance is alongside in this timber and then you can see it pop out right here this is my west border all the way down to this point um you know, when we were trapping raccoons when we were talking about trapping on the west border it was up in this area and then along right by this y we call this the y because the y splits the top food plot and the road this um tree line right here it's all dead trees this is where we piled up all the trees from the this field and this field um, to create a wall so that the the wildlife feels a little bit more safe especially with our neighbor having um, this road down here there's some you know, there's some traffic that goes past it um, it also gives us easy access to not to disturb the wildlife because um, we just go right on this west border and then we and this is our south border right here. Um, south border juts back out. It's all this timber. And then it comes back up and then follows this road right here. It really follows it right here. Um, these are roads that we cut in to create a fire break, um, which we ended up burning this entire bottom area, which is 10.6 acres in this square, which is are uh, which is in crap right now uh, and so and then this is another two acres i believe of cottonwoods up against the river there's a big levee or berm right here to um, help keep the river in place if it does flood and get over its banks uh, i'm going to turn on 3d mode so you can see all of the uh, topographical changes so the property starts off the county road right here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Starts off the county road right here. Like I said, our, um, our entrance is right here into this spot. So you can't see it in the timber. Um, we have this little peninsula right here that's on high ground. But this ravine goes all the way from the interstate and, and takes a lot of the water when it does rain from the interstate. Uh, all the way to the bottom. Um, this is where our deer sanctuary is right here. Still need to do some work to create um, a better food source and better cover down there. Uh, get rid of all the, all the invasives. Um, did have a mulcher come in here and take care of this peninsula uh, for the most part of all the bush honeysuckle, which is a big thing where you're you know, part of the forest management plan is get rid of 80% of the bush honeysuckle so that we can, we can do a select harvest to open up some of the areas for better bedding, um, nesting cover, brooding cover, things like that. So this is our two acre field. This is our one acre field at all. This one acre field slowly um, drops down um, to the end and then, it, and then it drops off these ridges into the bottom. You can see all these points off this this one acre ridge really really cool a lot of a lot of old oaks uh, here's this ridge at the bottom of the one acre splits and goes down here and then we call this the boomerang come back around um, to this point right here which we call turkey foot because 
Um, the ravines kind of make it look like a, a, a turkey foot from the map. If you take this two acre field and come right here, there's our south border. Um, this is all wide open because of the uh, maturity of the trees right now. Um, so you can see straight through during, uh, like even in the summer months, it's just not a lot of sun like it in the, the, the forest floor. So we're trying to make pockets of different types of habitat um, through the, the select harvest. Uh, this is the um, old homestead right here. Really neat. Uh, there's a foundation in this area right here. There's two pits right here. There's an old well at the bottom. Um, it's dry, but we're going to try to figure out how to get water over here again. Uh, we did a lot of, when Caleb was here in March, we did a lot of um, um, bush honeysuckle management and created a little campsite right here. It, it looks over all this bottom and I understand why old homesteaders created that created their home down there. Um, you can see that this is a property line right here. And, um, and you can, and it's just once you get off these ridges and, and these valleys come to this bottom area, it's flat, flat, very flat. You can, once we burned, um, you can see across this whole place. There's no topography whatsoever, except for this berm right here. So that's about it. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. But hopefully that gives you a better indicator of when we're talking about, about things, um, where we're at. We do call this the elbow right here. Um, the elbow is between, you know, the, I guess the bicep and the, and the forearm of, uh, of the, the bicep being the, the two acre field and the forearm being the, um, the one acre field and this corner being the elbow. This is going to be a, uh, where we put one of the banks blinds for this next coming year. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of, of what's going on. I'll put it in, um, Put in true north right now so you can get a better indication so south border north border west and east let me know if you have any questions put them in the, uh, in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer if you have any feedback do the same thank you